Looks like another American Red. Yep, another red snapper. Big old red snapper. Look at that bad boy right there. All right, welcome back to the channel. So I'm gonna be doing my Red Snapper, 2023 Red Snapper planning video. This is the 10th Street boat ramp, and this is the path I take out via New Pass. Um, that path sometimes get a little hairy in the morning, but it's not too bad. So basically I head out um, to one of the spots. This is the first spot you're gonna see coming up here on the left. And I try to catch bait there sometimes. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I normally stop there, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Red snapper season's open. This is gonna be every boat ramp on June 16th. It's gonna be crazy. You better get out in the water early or this is gonna be your fate. All right, so this is the first spot I like to go to for red snapper. Um, it's about 40 miles from New Pass. And it, it's a public number. It's not something ultra secret. Um, it's just in about 108 to sometimes 110 feet right in there in that spot. But I've had really good luck with snapper, um, grouper. Had a couple of trips out. Um, Dan caught uh, his, uh, his limit for the day at this spot of our uh, red grouper. And we caught a bunch of uh, red snapper at this spot. So this is probably going to be the first spot that I'm going to hit um, opening day red snapper season. And like you see, in this area, it's tons of uh, structure. You can look and, you know, there's good stuff there. So there's a little preview of uh, from the last video, Dan pulling in a beautiful red snapper from this spot. So let's watch and enjoy. We got Dan on over here. Red snapper. Oh, big ho 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 ho. Tank red snapper. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that bad boy. On the mullet head. Let's go. Look at that bad boy. We got Dan with the beautiful red snapper. Big boy. Look at that. You want to put him on and see how big he is? Right at, what was that, right at 20, 21? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Wide too. Yeah. Go. Vent it out so he'll be ready to go. We right vented now. him and yep. send him back down. As you can see, what a beautiful red snapper. Uh, can't wait to get into him this upcoming season. So now I'm going to take you to the second spot that I use. This is a, also a public number. Um, this is called um, the Mexican Pride. It's about, you know, 117, 120, you know, that range of depth. And in addition to the actual Mexican pride, there is tons of other spots in that general area that I've marked over, you know, my uh, fishing experience. So, you know, a lot of people don't go out there. It's, you know, it's pretty far out. Uh, I think it's uh, 45 miles offshore. So, you know, you don't get a ton of uh, weekend warriors going out there, but I'm assuming red snapper season, you're gonna see some skiffs out there for sure. All right, the next spot I'm gonna take you to is um, another public number. It's a spot called, uh, it's a red called Gunsmoke. Um, we've caught some really good red snapper at this spot. You know, not actually on the wreck, but as I'll show you a little bit later, there's tons of structure around the wreck area. So you can actually get into some good red snapper. We call it keep a red grouper there. Um, it's just, like I said before, it's a little bit far offshore. So a lot of the weekend warriors don't venture that far out, but you know, red snapper season, it's gonna be, you know, insane. See, up to, there's another piece of structure that's actually really good. We fished that a couple of times. And here's Captain Al right on that spot, bringing in something, um, like another most likely red. another red snapper. That might be our you know, so though. awesome snapper spot. Yep. See you in the next segment. Yep. Looks like another American Red. That might be our signal to go. Yep. All 
All right, this is going to be the other spot that I like to fish. This is um these are not really public numbers. This this first spot is not really a public number. Um the second one is known. Um I've never seen anyone fish on these spots before every time I've been out there. But it, it, the red snapper are awesome at this spot. You have to weed through for millions though, so it's best to have like bigger baits and actually not fish the the bottom and usually end up with um some pretty good I think the biggest red snap I caught at that spot was 26 inches, but I got broken off by a few others just because I didn't have proper tackle. So this is another good spot and they're, they're pretty close to each other. So I just call them red snap one, red snapper two. So, you know, another great spot to catch red snapper. And coming up is some video of uh, me catching a red snapper at this particular spot. Uh, maybe not. There we go. There we go. So this is not a big one, but you know, pretty good, pretty good red snapper at this spot. Never know. See you in the next segment. Like another red. Yep, another red snapper. So this was fun. This is a fun fight. This is on my um my jig and pretty light tackle. Unfortunately, that my favorite rod, my pen, Fierce 3000, you know, I broke it off doing this actual, this actual fishing trip. But yeah, um, and a bigger bag, bag, fight, bigger, you know, bigger fish with, uh, with a smaller equipment. It definitely gives you some good action. All right, enjoy. No color yet. Not yet. American Red. American Red. Yep. Nice American Red. Stud. Woo. Stud. Stud American Red. My first. All right, so this spot is another spot that I, um, it's not a public number. It's something that um, I just spent time, I spent a lot of time in the Navionics app finding structure out there as we know in the gulf of mexico it's uh you know not a lot of structure this one is in 120 to 126 and i've caught tons of red snapper you know of course when the season is closed let's see what happens when the season is open if we're going to be able to catch them like we do and um here's another spot it's pretty close to that last spot you know just a little bit more inshore um less depth but also Produce red snapper, red grouper, and of course, if you're catching those, you're catching the vermilions, the, you know, other bycatch when you're focusing on red snapper. And this is the last spot that I really have really good success with. Um, it's a little bit further out, and I've caught keeper red grouper at this spot, and multiple keeper red snapper, you know, just not in season. So I, I love this spot. This spot, unfortunately, it's about 55 miles offshore. So, you know, it's at the outer limit of my uh, 22 foot boat. So, you know, I don't visit it much, but during red snapper season, I'm gonna hit that spot. So here's, here's a stud red snapper that I caught at this spot. So uh, enjoy. So this is the final spot, um, really good spot, caught a nice stud, American Red Snapper, but I wanted to talk about the venting process. You're required to have a venting tool with you on, on the boat. I keep a venting tool and also keep a descending device. I prefer the descending device just because I feel the fish have a better chance to survive. So right here is the venting tool, but also I keep both just in case you want them to return them alive. Thanks for watching.